Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our host for today's ceremony, Colonel Robert L. Killam, Commander, 598 Transportation Brigade, welcome to today's Assumption of Responsibility Ceremony. Today, Command Sergeant Major Neil D. Ruiz will assume responsibility of the 598 Transportation Brigade. At this time, we would like to acknowledge our special guests attending today's ceremony virtually and in person. Major General Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Brown, Brigadier General Reagan, Command Sergeant Major Primus, distinguished guests, friends, family and soldiers of the 598 Transportation Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the German and US national anthems and remain standing for the invocation delivered by the Medical Readiness Command Europe Chaplain, Chaplain William Lovell. I invite you to pray in the manner of your tradition as I pray in the manner of mine. Let us pray. Eternal God, we pause to invite your presence into this assumption of responsibility ceremony for Command Sergeant Major Neil Ruiz. I ask that as he assumes his duties that you grant unto him an unlimited measure of your wisdom in all things. Please continue to guide the 598 Transportation Brigade as they serve our nation, our allies, and our military community. I ask all these things for the welfare of our nation and the furtherance of your purposes here on earth. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The Assumption of Responsibility is a simple yet traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the colors. The very soul of a military unit is symbolized in the colors under which it fights for they represent not only for the lineage and honors of the unit, but also the loyalty and unity of its soldiers. The custodian of the colors is the Sergeant Major, who is the senior enlisted soldier in the unit and principal advisor to the commander. 
The passing of the unit colors is significant in many ways. The history, tradition, and accomplishments of the 598 Transportation Brigade are embodied in these colors. And with the transfer, the unit legacy is passed. Historically, these colors served as the point around which the soldiers of the organization rallied as they moved forward in battle. The colors have traditionally been at the side of the commander and were carried forward even when the commander fell in combat. And as with tradition, the command sergeant major is entrusted as the keeper of the colors. All others within the organization might perish, but the colors live on forever. And so, with the passing of the colors, goes the transfer of responsibility for the accomplishments of the mission and the welfare of the soldiers. The caller sergeant, Master Sergeant Hintz, will pass the callers to Colonel Killam, who, in turn, will pass the callers to Command Sergeant Major Ruiz, charging him with the responsibility and authority that comes with this position. Charge orders for Command Sergeant Major Neil D. Ruiz. Let it be known from this day forward that the commander of 598 Transportation Brigade and confidence, dedication, integrity, and leadership abilities. Therefore, you are hereby appointed as the Command Sergeant Major 598 Transportation Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the commander of the 598 Transportation Brigade, Colonel Robert L. Killam. Please don't everyone applause at once. <laughs> Good morning, Major General Lawrence, Command Sergeant Major Brown, Colonel Alexander, Colonel Lane, Mrs. Lane, Command Sergeant Major Towns, Command Sergeant Major Brizantine, and Command Sergeant Major Aguin. Uh, distinguished guests, family, friends, here as well as watching and listening online. Thank you all for coming to another historic event for the 598th Transportation Brigade. This assumption of responsibility serves not only as the official ceremony that brings Command Sergeant Major Ruiz on board as the next top non-commissioned officer to this brigade, but it also counts as several other events in one. We could say that we've knocked out his brigade hail because we're going to have cake and punch in later. You can laugh, it's okay. <laughs> and we can also say that uh, we've got a community event here because we're in the community activity center for Simbach. So uh, so yeah, I guess I tried. But seriously, it's, uh, it's great to have uh, my new senior enlisted advisor on board as well as my new battle buddy. The Army's definitely done a great job at selecting NCOs that have had the extremely important job <clears throat> and at times difficult job in keeping me straight. So far I can say the Army's batting a thousand. In short, in the short time I've known Command Sergeant Major Rees, I can say, I can tell you that he is going to be a great addition, not only to this command team, but to the Brigade, SDDC, and Team 21 as well. He's coming straight out of a very successful battalion, Command Sergeant Major Billet from Fort Liberty, North Carolina, where his leadership and experience will help, in, will help him insurmountably here and in all of his future assignments. Command Sergeant Major Ruiz is well prepared to assume responsibility, not only as my senior enlisted advisor, but also as a key member of the shadow government, I put in quotes, shadow government that I jokingly call the Sergeant Major Mafia, I mean, I mean network. He's already made great connections with many of the Command Sergeants Major here in Europe and was a classmate with several Brigade and Battalion Sergeants Major in preparation for this assignment. The network here in, Euro in Europe is strong and each unit relies on each other to do many of the events, activities and missions, not only here in Simbach, but in the greater KMC area, as well as mission locations. 
I'm definitely excited to see you continue to provide the necessary leadership and partnership with the NCOs throughout Europe. We know, we know that none of us could get here on our own, and Command Sergeant Major Ruiz is no exception. His family and mentors have supported him and guided him along the way, and this assignment will definitely require that support. I want to thank your family, especially your wife, Juicy, and daughter, Juliana, in advance and appreciate their support to you. Although they're not here physically with you in Europe currently, I know they feel the importance and weight of this assignment, and they are always with you. And we we're looking uh, forward to meeting them in the very near future when they come to visit. I want to give my sincere thanks to Master Sergeant Hintz, where yet, uh, who is our Brigade S3 NCOIC. He stood in uh, in the breach as the Command Sergeant Major uh, for the uh, for the brigade for the last two months. And I drug him with me all over Europe for pretty much the entire month of October. I do appreciate your help and assistance for sponsoring Command Sergeant Major Ruiz, as well as coordinating this event and everything else you've done for the brigade. Um, I know you're very happy that Command Sergeant, Mar <laughs> Command Sergeant Major Ruiz is here. It's a rare occasions like this uh, that we're able to bring our entire brigade leadership here together. Uh, so I'm gonna take a minute and recognize some of the things they do. Um, <clears throat> so our battalion leaders uh, for being here and thank them for all the, the their units and efforts over the past several months. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Acevedo and Sergeant Major Baker from the 838th Battalion headquartered here at uh, Claybrook Stern. Where y'all at? Raise your hand for the for the audience. There we go. Not yet. Wait. <laughs> the battalion's AOR is all ports north of the Alps, and they've been very busy deploying and redeploying multiple multiple brigade and below size elements, as well as PD cargo and, and ammunition for the war in Ukraine. They and their company and detachments have operated ports from Klaipeda, Lithuania, Gdynia, Poland, Aarhus and Esbjerg, Denmark, Bremerhaven and, Nord, and Nordenham, Germany, Vlissingen, Netherlands and Zabruge, Belgium. And I'm missing a few, I know. Then down south of the Alps and Africa, we have with us Lieutenant Colonel Harrell and Sergeant Major Lawrence. Where y'all at? Right there. They command the 839th Transportation Battalion. And last month, they and their detachment's leadership reestablished the port of Livorno in Italy to receive brigade unit cargo. We've not operated out of that port in several years. So they've had the opportunity to operate in Izmir, Turkey, Thessaloniki, and Alexandropoli, uh, Greece, Bar Montenegro, Valencia, and Rota, Spain, and assisted across the brigade in both Esbjerg, Denmark, and Klaipeda, Lithuania. Needless to say, the current environment um, in both of our battalion AORs and the ports I mentioned are just a few highlights. What we do is definitely a team effort, a team of teams effort, and we're very proud of their efforts to support Team 21 in coordination with 16th Sustainment Brigade, 5th Corps units, and USARAF. Please, let's give them a big round of applause for their efforts and being here today. I have to say it's, a, it's also a great honor and, and privilege to have the Commanding General and Command Sergeant Major from STDC here today for this event. Cool. Because SCDC brigades are spread out all over the world, it's a rare occasion that they're able to be at events like this. And we truly appreciate you both being here and taking the time to attend today's ceremony and hosting uh, an LPD following this event with the logistics community here in the area. We are all really looking forward to the next week of allowing us to showcase the brigade, battalion, and Team 21's efforts across Europe. Command Sergeant Major Ruiz, <clears throat> we'll have about eight months of very busy months together as a command team, and I can't wait to get started. So on that note, I'll go ahead and stop delaying the process and close my remarks with saying on behalf of the entire brigade, welcome aboard, and let's get this started right now with Be All You Can Be, Surface Warriors, First in Support, and Warrior Logistics in Motion. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Command Sergeant Major of the 598 Transportation Brigade, Command Sergeant Major Neil D. Ruiz. Thank you. What a great day to be a transporter. What a great day. Uh, good morning, General Lawrence, General Reagan, Command Sergeant Major Brown, Command Sergeant Major Primus, Mr. Swift, Brigade, and Battalion Command Teams, friends, family, and other distinguished guests. Thank you, Mass Sergeant Hintz, and the entire team for making this ceremony possible. And I know he is the most excited person, probably after Colonel Kellum, that uh, I am now here. He made sure my flight was on time and was waiting at the airport, and I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the hard work and attention detail that you put into this. As I stand up here today, I see many friendly, uh, friendly familiar faces. Colonel Lane, I cannot believe that 20 years ago, I was a young private in your platoon. Sir, you and I are the last Rough Riders still wearing the uniform today. It really means a lot that you are in attendance today, sir and ma'am. And I'm truly proud of all that you have accomplished throughout your career. I would like to thank Colonel and Mrs. Kellum, Mr. Swift, Sergeant Major Baker, Mass Sergeant Hintz, and the entire 598th Transportation Brigade for making my transition to this brigade and to Germany seamless. This was my first Oconus PCS in my career, so that is probably why it took the entire village to get me out here. I am truly honored to be standing here today as the newest CSM of the 598 Transportation Brigade. There are some amazing CSMs that have had the privilege of serving in this esteemed organization. I am humbled to see the wall of photos that depict the giants that have come before me. I will do all that I can to honor all that they have done and to cherish every moment that I have in this organization. Colonel Kellum, I cannot express just how excited I am to be your command sergeant major. I look forward to working side by side with you to take this brigade to the next level of excellence with the continued support from the officers, NCOs, and civilians of this amazing organization. Lastly, I would not be as successful today if it were not for my amazing support system at home. Unfortunately, they cannot be here today, but Juicy, you've been by my side for the last 20 years, pushing me to be the best version of myself every day. Juliana, you're the best kid a parent can ask for. I cannot thank you enough for all your love, support, and most of all, laughing at all my funny dad jokes. I look forward to starting the next chapter of our lives together, so start packing, and I will see you guys soon. I love both of you so very much. Be all you can be, surface warriors, first in support, warrior logistics in motion, Poseidon 7 signing on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Commanding General of the Surface Deployment and Distribution Command, Major, Major General Gavin Lawrence. The distinguished guests, family, and friends of the 598th Transportation Brigade, thank you for being here today and to Colonel Kellum and the 598 team, thank you for affording the opportunity for Command Sergeant Major Brown and I to be a part of this wonderful day, this ceremony, as we saw Command Sergeant Major Ruiz assume the colors of the mighty 598th Transportation Brigade. You know, being a student of history, I thought I'd take a couple minutes just to talk about the significance of this morning's events as we saw Command Sergeant Major Ruiz assume the colors, assume responsibility for this phenomenal brigade and write another chapter in the lineage and history of this organization. You know, the history of the 598th goes back to the 7th of June, 1945. 7th June 1945, under the 17th Major Port, activities were established in Bremerhaven, Germany. At the end of World War II, as the United States made the decision to maintain a presence in Europe and rebuild Europe under the Marshall Plan. 
And then the 17th major port played a crucial role in the deployment, reception, and distribution of material and units that would contribute to the rebuilding of Europe post-World War II. Since then, names have changed, going from Mikmik Europe to 598th Transportation Group to now you know, 598th Transportation Brigade. Names have changed, but the mission has remained constant, right? And that is ensuring the coordination, synchronization of surface deployment and distribution support and support of the United States Army, our joint force, our NATO allies, on time, on target, as we like to say in SDC, to meet mission requirements. And this organization has done that. I talked a little bit about post-World War II. We can talk about all that this organization executed in the face of Soviet presence during the Cold War. Talk about what this brigade did in terms of supporting U.S. actions in Bosnia, most recently in support of the Afghan refugee, refugee crisis, and then what you're currently doing in the face of Russian aggression, supporting our NATO allies, supporting U.S. forces as we compete and deter further Russian aggression. That, ladies and gentlemen, all I just talked about is what these colors represent, what this mighty brigade represents, and what it does as a part of U.S. Army, Africa, Europe, what it does as part of Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command. Command Sergeant Major Ruse, you've assumed responsibility for a phenomenal organization with a rich lineage and history. And I know that you are more than up to the task as acting as the Command Sergeant Major of this great organization. Command Sergeant Major Brown and I wish you and all the, all the very best and your family all the very best as you assume this responsibility and to the 598th team, thank you for what you do each and every day as a part of Military Service Deployment and Distribution Command. Thank you what you do every day as you support our war fighters on two continents. You know, one third of our nation's geographical com combatant commands res responsibility, delivering on time, on target, every time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Transportation Corps song and the Army song. You will find the words printed on your program.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please join us in welcoming Command Sergeant Major Ruiz for light refreshments. Thank you and have a great day, Surface Warriors in motion.